Hello everyone and welcome to Brain Spike. My name is Joe and I'm here to help you out on your journey to knowledge. For returning users, feel free to check out the timestamps I've made down below and go ahead and get started learning. For new users, Brain Spike is an on-the-go learning tool. So if you're looking to study when you're on your way to school or on your way to work, maybe going for a run, going for a walk, Brain Spike is here to help you out with your dynamic lifestyle. So our learning method is as follows. First, I'll give you either a term or a definition, and then there's a pause. Now, this brief silence is not a glitch, it's your moment. So use it to either verbally out loud or mentally to yourself. Try to recall the term or definition. Then I'll give you the correct response and we'll repeat. It's a method that's founded on the principle of active recall, which is proven to strengthen synaptic connections in your brain Compare this to passively reading or passively watching YouTube content, and you've got yourself a simple yet very powerful learning tool here. So with that being said, let's get started. The Outer Ear Pinner the outermost part of the ear, which captures sound waves and directs them into the ear canal. Ear canal. A tubular structure that extends from the external ear to the eardrum. It channels sound waves towards the middle ear. Eardrum? thin cone-shaped membrane that separates the external ear from the middle ear. It vibrates in response to sound waves. The middle ear. Hammer. The first of three small bones in the middle ear that amplify vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear. Anvil. The second bone, which transfers vibrations from the hammer to the stirrup. Stirrup. The third and smallest bone in the middle ear, which transfers vibrations to the oval window of the cochlea. Oval window. A small membrane-covered opening of the cochlea receives vibrations from the stirrup. The inner ear. Cochlea. A spiral-shaped, fluid-filled organ responsible for converting sound vibrations into electrical signals that the brain can interpret. Bacillar membrane. A fluid-filled channel in the cochlea that contains the organ of corti, where sound vibrations are converted into electrical signals. Organ of corti. A structure located on the bacillar membrane that contains hair cells, which produce electrical signals in response to sound vibrations. Hair cells. Sensory cells in the organ of corti that transform mechanical vibrations into electrical signals for the brain to interpret as sound. Stereocilia Hair-like projections found on the top of hair cells in the cochlea. Semicircular canals A set of three fluid-filled tubes in the inner ear responsible for maintaining balance and spatial orientation. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you found it useful and valuable. If you'd like to continue learning, feel free to restart the video 
or be sure to check out the description down below where I've probably left some links either to delve in deeper into today's topic or just for your own benefit and for your own knowledge. If this is a foundations video, I might have made an advanced version of this topic already. If this is a term recall, I might have already made a definitions recall video and vice versa. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be sure to respond. And if you're signing off, well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.